it's incredible that in a wealthy uh, part of the world like uh, Europe that we're not managing to redistribute redistribute the wealth that we have for to ensure that everybody can have access to a decent life. Ce qui me touche c'est qu'on laisse des gens au bord de la route et qu'on leur en, on les empêche de, de donner le, le, le meilleur de même on, on les abandonne. It's obvious that the financial and economic crisis in the recent years has just aggravated this situation. Europeans have one of the best social protection systems in the world and yet 84 million of them nearly one sixth live below the poverty line. To break out of this alarming situation, the member states clearly have their role to play. But what is the role of Europe in all this? Face au défi de la pauvreté, penser que quelqu'un peut s'en sortir seul est vraiment une illusion. Alors bien sûr, les systèmes sociaux sont aujourd'hui essentiellement des systèmes nationaux. Mais lorsque vous regardez dans le traité, très clairement, il y a un espace pour ce qu'on appelle une compétence complémentaire de l'Union européenne et c'est là où l'Union européenne peut agir elle doit le faire In terms of legal definition member states are responsible for employment and social policies but uh, we read it from the opinion surveys that over 70% of the european citizens want the european union to play a much stronger role for boosting employment and uh, fighting against poverty fighting for uh, social cohesion The EU has set itself the target of lifting 20 million citizens out of poverty and social exclusion by 2020 the European year for combating poverty and social exclusion is coming to a close. It has been instrumental in pushing political leaders to achieve this objective. The reduction of poverty is one of the keys of the new European strategy for sustainable, smart and inclusive growth adopted by European leaders in June 2010. The fight against poverty has become a priority in the Europe 2020 strategy. It's first time in the history of the European Union that uh, we have an explicit uh, target to reduce poverty. To achieve this objective, the European Union's role is to coordinate the actions of the member states and contribute with European funding. Concrètement, il faut que les pauvres puissent accéder aux droits, aux services publics, et il faut aussi leur venir en aide avec un revenu minimum. Sur l'accès aux services publics, euh, c'est une chose qui, moi, me préoccupe beaucoup aujourd'hui, parce que je vois que les efforts de réduction des dettes euh, des États membres risquent de se traduire par une diminution des moyens des services publics. Or, il n'y a pas de lutte possible contre la pauvreté s'il n'y a pas d'accès aux droits élémentaires. These are difficult times for Europe. It is facing a serious economic crisis, and it is most likely that the poorest people will have to pay the heaviest price. But one thing is clear, there can be no way out of the economic crisis unless it is accompanied by a strategy to tackle poverty and social exclusion. It's just inconceivable that we could let people still suffer daily poverty. So that's the first driving motive. But also we know that inequality is bad for everybody in the society and that we're building a very precarious Europe, that we're losing trust in our institutions at European level. And the only way we can regain that trust is to be seen to be focused more on these questions of redistribution, these questions of tackling poverty, tackling homelessness, tackling child poverty, uh, uh, tackling the links between migration and poverty. Uh, this is the way that we will restore trust in our European uh, public authorities. If we don't want to risk uh, uh, to have a lost generation, if we don't want to risk a social or even a political breakdown, if we don't want to risk uh, a major uh, conflict within societies uh, over issues of uh, poverty and uh, uh, survival in these difficult times, uh, we have to play a stronger coordinating role. And that's what has been outlined in the Europe 2020 strategy with uh, highlighting the financial instruments with which the European Union can also support the efforts of the member states in this area.